I would be so excited to see a draft mode. This is something I've been looking for forever, ever since it came out. How you doing? Hey everybody. So today we have a special video for you. We've got a concept showcase by Michael Calzada. So we're going to be looking through his kind of showcase. We've gotten permission to do that kind of thing. So should be pretty cool. There's a lot of like really interesting features that I would love to, for to be in the game. So it should be a really fun one. Let's get started. All right, so these are concept pieces. We're gonna be showcasing them in order of it's been released. Um, they're not in the game or planned, so you might be looking at this stuff and be like, wow, I can't wait. You know, these are just concept pieces um, from this creator, so just to be informed. And transferring concepts to reality requires a lot of planning, coding, things like that. But it is cool to see some of the possibilities, some of the things that uh, could be possible, could be looking for. I was very impressed just looking through uh, the list of things that he's done. So just wanted to kind of showcase it, have a video here. It's by Michael Calzada. So just, you can definitely contact him through Reddit, Discord, or his website. So thank you to Michael for allowing me to showcase these concepts and let's get started. So first one we have here is going to be a trade-in system. So I'll probably just let the videos play and then we'll kind of talk about it um, and go for, it's gonna be generally quick since there's a lot to showcase. He's done a lot of work, so just kind of letting it go. So you can see here, it's um, a system where you're able to kind of transfer three variants that you don't particularly like to get something different, something new. Uh, in this current um, concept, he has variants trading for premium mystery variants. So he's throwing pixels in that kind of thing. I do think it'd be interesting that you can't receive a rolled variant from the reward. So if you just keep throwing pixels in, I mean, you, you're getting premium mystery variants, so already you can't get pixels, but if you were to throw other premium mystery variants, those won't be available. So kind of a cool concept. There's other games that have this kind of thing. So pretty cool to see his idea of something like that in. Next up, we have this profile page friends list concept here. What am I supposed to be doing with my head here? I don't know. <laughs> but here you can kind of see his concept. So in here he has a profile page that kind of tracks some of your stats, some of your gameplay. I think that's pretty cool. He also has a friends list. I know people have been um, very interested in having a way to have, add friends to the game. He has a concept here and you're able to invite them to battle. It'd also be nice from a just a technical aspect to be able to spectate people. There's definitely other games that I've played that have that spectate feature and it's just a very useful feature. So that would definitely be something cool um, to add, but yeah, just, just kind of a concept of that particular showcase. Next up we have seasonal achievements and just the ability to showcase your favorite cards, your favorite splits on your profile page.
So you can see here, he has some interesting stats. He has the stats kind of done by seasons. So you can kind of look through the Loki season and kind of look through the, you know, all the other seasons and just kind of see how your plays, your plays have changed, your decks have changed, some of your matches, you know, things like that. You can kind of look through seasons, which I think is a cool way of kind of having stats that are pretty relevant and impactful throughout time. And then also just being able to like showcase your favorite splits, your favorite cards, your favorite variants just on your page if people want to take a look. And you can also see he has the, the ability of having replay saved. I do think that is um, interesting, right? It does mean they would have to have like replay files like saved in, right? So that they can access it, right? Which I don't think they're doing right now, but it's definitely a cool concept in terms of how to have a profile page that's engaging and pretty cool to showcase to other players. This one's louder than the others. Next, this one is just customizing card splits. So you can kind of see here, he has a feature that a lot of players have really been wanting, right? The ability to change your splits to something that um, you're pretty much looking for. So that's, that's definitely something that um, has been interested for players, things like that, just to be able to say, hey, I want to change from the purple border to the blue border, change um, the falls change that kind of thing though uh, some caveats right you are only able to change the splits of things that you already own so if you don't have like ink border you can't like get an ink split this way things like that so you have to manually unlock the splits it also costs 100 gold to finalize so this is just like his arbitrary um number value of like oh yeah 100 gold sounds fine here which you know i don't have too much of a problem with per se but you know, these things are just like concept pieces. So, you know, it, it might not ever be released in such a way, but this is just something that could happen. Just like something he's thought about and uh, put into reality. So pretty cool. Definitely people been wanting card splits forever, right? So, I mean, it would be nice to have something like that. Next up, we have um, some falls some artwork. So this one's pretty interesting as well. So here he's added, um, he's changed the artwork in a pretty interesting way, right? He's reduced the, um, the, uh, how big the name is and tried to incorporate more of the artwork itself into the, the picture. So you can see here, he's also messed with the foils. Uh, some, a lot of people have issues with the fall that they're a little bit too powerful. They kind of overshadow the background. So he's kind of lessened that effect and he's kind of just added some dynamic lighting as well. So, I mean, honestly, it looks fantastic, right? I don't really like, there's no real complaints, but it's just some, some, uh, reimagining of how the falls could look, how the splits could look, how artwork could look in the game. So I thought that was particularly cool.
All right, so here we have just a new deck selector. So just kind of um, when you try to open a deck or select a deck on mobile, right? It's it's horizontal and you kind of have to scroll, right? To find the deck and it takes a long time, especially if you have 20 decks. Like I do always, I always have 20 decks, right? So if I'm like trying to find a deck, it takes quite a while. This this one is a little bit more um, horiz hor more vertical. So you can see more decks at once. And then they also added um, an artist search, which at the time when this was made, artist search wasn't in the game, but they have added the ability to search by artists now. So uh, this feature has been imp implemented. So that's pretty cool to see, but just kind of a way of looking at decks, kind of selecting them. And I, w I would think I would, um, I'm sometimes annoyed by how long it takes for me to find decks, you know, moving from one to another. So having it vertical, being able to see more decks at once, I think would be pretty useful. So this one, I don't know. This one is probably my most hyped feature. This is what I would definitely love. I will say like the particular implementation, right? Maybe could be this, um, could be different, but just draft mode is something I've been asking for ever since the game came out pretty much. So I would love to see something implemented in any shape or form, even if it, you know, even something like this, even though I, I do have some criticisms about this particular implementation. All right, so this is definitely cool, right? I do think that um, it's going to be hard to kind of have this window where you and another person are going to be drafting um, a deck and then playing that one deck um, against each other, probably in battle mode, and then you're done, right? You have to do that for every time you're playing draft. Like, that will just take way too long. And you'll also not be able to play your, your deck against multiple players. So I definitely think there are other... Um, different types of drafting that could be done. There's a lot of examples in games like Hearthstone, Clash Royale, MTG, Arena, things like that, that have different drafting systems that have been pretty successful. Um, but draft in essence would be something I would love to see in the game. So just that concept itself, right? Gets me like, ah, oh, yeah, let's go. So uh, definitely cool to see. Uh, he has his own ideas as well. So um, pretty cool, but let's kind of move on from there. My bad. All right, so this one is just having native discard and destroy pile support. Obviously, if you're playing on PC, right, there are third-party apps that can give you this feature. But if you're playing on your phone or anything like that, you don't have the ability to really see discards. And that can definitely be annoying when you are um, 
playing into some particular matchups or based on some of your decks that you really need to know what has been discarded or destroyed. So it'd just be nice to have that ability. And then also there's the ability to kind of preview your deck in your selection screen. If you want to see what's in a deck, you kind of have to go to the collection page and then take a look at it, right? Versus being able to just look while you're you're scrolling through your deck list. So there's just something I think would be useful to have, especially for players that mostly play on your phone. Or anytime you, I play on my phone, it's like, ah, uh, you know, I miss... I miss knowing what's in my discard, you know, stuff like that. So it would be nice to see. All right, so here we have the concept of just movie variants, movie avatars, uh, or th and 3D avatars. So these are just uh, bundles that have been created, designed by him, just kind of using moments from movies and also avatars that have 3D effects, right? So definitely, I'm not a big bundle guy, variant guy, right? But his hearts and IDs do look pretty cool. Uh, obviously, I don't think there's going to be like so much sparks everywhere in a real variant but you know it's it's a concept you know you get some more liberties than maybe you would in actual coding and everything but yeah definitely some cool implementations of what uh av avatars could look like what bundles could look like as well things like that so definitely um definitely a pretty cool one you know hard to deny I mean, this one's also great. So this is another bundle concept kind of showcasing games. So this one's kind of focusing on Spider-Man 2. It's a game that came out recently and just kind of some of the ways you can have these games and promote them through the game shop, through the bundle system. So just some cool stuff. They also have like unique variants. So you can see how the artwork, they, everything's really showcased in there where each artwork is kind of connecting to the others in some meaningful way. So just a pretty cool take on bundles, pretty cool take on variants and uh, just something to look into, just a cool concept piece essentially. I messed that up.
So here he has some bundles that, or some variants based on the secondary card. So a lot of times cards like um, rock, cards that create rocks, cards that create hammers, you know, uh, Black Widow, those type of cards, right? They have extra pieces, but those don't really get uh, um, adjusted based on variants. So uh, his concept is kind of taking some of those cards and theming them to the variant itself. It's not going to be all the secondary cards, but just specific ones that Secondary will choose. And if you already have that base variant, right, you'll get the updated secondary variant for free. And then also he has just some um, some takes on implementing first edition badges. That's something um, Secretary has talked about, but really hasn't really implemented in any way. So he's just like having an, a, a way of showcasing your first edition status, just if um, if it made sense. So just some cool concepts. I know Secretary has talked about not working on those secondary variants because it's a lot of resources without uh, too much payoff in their opinion. But it'd be cool to just like work on a couple, one or two, and and really kind of showcase their skills, showcase some of their ways of improving some of those secondary variants. I think that would be pretty cool. So just uh, just a cool concept. Really like the implementation here. So yeah, you know, wanted to shout it out. So here we have uh, just a kind of reimagining of albums and just the ability to wish list variants in the album. So just something pretty cool that's implemented. I will say like it's a little bit different because he's increased the size of the albums and definitely there'll, there'll be some players that um, wouldn't want an increased album size. So there was a concept on Reddit I thought it was pretty cool. Just kind of instead of having the full album, the albums will have pages, something like eight, eight or 12 variants on the page and you get instead of having to kind of complete this huge uh, set of variants to kind of get all the rewards you might be able to split the rewards uh, up you know per 12 per per eight be a little bit more interesting um, or have the ability to have generic variants instead of having to get these specific variants you could have a page that are specific and a page that are just generic um, that are not the specific variants itself right so you could have those for for the free to place maybe they'll be, it's a lot easier to get the generic ones and then also the the ones that are shooting for those specific variants can really um, you know spend resources to get those so i just thought that was a pretty interesting comment that i wanted to showcase as well but yeah, just a just a reimagining of albums and also the ability to, of of wish listing variants, which I think can be pretty cool. You'll be able to kind of have an increased chance of getting the variant you want. Also, he had a feature where those wish listed variants have a chance to be on sale. Not really um, a lot of like discount. It's like fifty uh, gold cheaper, but still, just that might also encourage people to spend. Uh, to use their gold since they're getting a little bit cheaper than normal. So just some interesting concept here that I thought was pretty cool. And then the final um, concept here that he's made for 2023. Once again, you can check him out, MichaelCalsada at dot com. But let's take a look at the final concept.
Infinity. Sapphire. Emerald. So here we have his final concept of 2023, just having Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald splits. So these are just new variant splits. Just some people think, oh, there could be better split effects, you know, or more split effects. These are some concepts he have. So just like increasing the number of splits, giving players more options. It will like take forever to like actually have every single split of a of a particular card, but I think that's the idea for second dinner anyway. So just some cool splits to add to kind of increase the the flexibility, increase the amount of choices that you have in the game. So definitely definitely some cool takes, but we kind of look through their full collection of concepts that they've made in 2023. And overall, you know, I just want to say these are fantastic concepts in my ability, in my opinion, right? Lots of cool things I would love to see showcase in the game, you know, Second Inner has their team, you know, this is someone they could definitely take a look at and, you know, uh, talk to in terms of implementing some of these concepts into reality. I think that would be pretty cool. Thank you to Michael Calzada for allowing me to showcase your work and you can definitely check him out at his website or anywhere else. But what are your thoughts? Do you like the concepts? When I saw them, I knew I had to like shout them out in some way. So, um, you know, let me know your thoughts, right? And, uh, Thank you as well. Thank you again. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this one and have a wonderful rest of your day. Educated Colin to snap. Once you watch him, you won't go back. He'll teach you to marvel snap. Your skills will be in.